All right, the problem says 50.0 grams of C2H6 combust in a container filled with 250 grams of oxygen gas. How much water will be produced from this reaction? So this is a limiting reactant stoichiometry problem because we were given both amounts of our reactants. We were given 50.0 grams of C2H6 and also 250 grams of oxygen gas. So let's set up our stoichiometry problems with those amounts, calculate, and whichever one is less is what we'll actually get. So we have 50.0 grams of C2H6 and 250.0 grams of oxygen, O2. We're going to do three-step stoichiometry problems because we are going mass to mass for each of these. So we will draw three fractions, each of those in parentheses. Okay and we will calculate each of these and whichever is less is what we actually get. So the first one, 50 grams of C2H6. We can convert our grams of C2H6 into moles of C2H6. For every one mole of C2H6, how many grams is that? Well, we have to calculate the molar mass for C2H6 molar mass of C2H6. That is going to be 2 times the molar mass of carbon plus 6 times the molar mass of hydrogen. Just the amounts of each element in the chemical formula. So the molar mass of carbon is 12.01. So 2 times 12.01 plus 6 times the molar mass of hydrogen. That is 1.01. .01. Sometimes those are a little different depending on your periodic table. So 2 times 12.01 .01 plus 6 times 1.01 .01 gives us a molar mass of 30.08 grams. So that goes on the bottom of our first conversion factor, 30.08 grams. That is the molar mass of C2H6, the mass of one mole. So at this point, we converted our grams of C2H6 to moles. They canceled out. So now we have to convert our moles of C2H6 into moles of what we're trying to calculate, moles of water or H2O. Okay. For this second step, we use the mole ratios. That is the coefficients in front of the compounds in our chemical equation. So for C2H6, it is 2. For H2O, it is 6. So at this point, moles of C2H6 cancels. We're at moles of H2O, and now we can go to grams of H2O. So we're going to convert moles of H2O to grams of H2O. For every one mole of H2O, how many grams is that? Well, for the molar mass of H2O, we're going to add 2 times the molar mass of hydrogen plus 1 oxygen. So molar mass of hydrogen is still 1.01. .01. So we're going to multiply that by 2. And add molar mass of oxygen. Looking at the periodic table, should be right about 16. So 2 times 1.01 .01 plus 16 is 18.02 grams. That's the molar mass of water. So that goes up top. 18.02 on our third conversion factor and moles of H2O will now cancel out and we will be left with grams of H2O. So if we went to solve this problem 
in your calculator you would put 50.0 divided by the bottom of the first fraction because the top is 1 so it won't change anything so divided by 30.08 times the top of the second fraction 6 divided by the bottom 2 times the top of the third fraction 18.02 we could divide by one but again it's not going to change it so we can skip that and we'll hit equals and we should get around 89.86 rounding to 89.9 grams of water that is how much water we would produce if all 50 grams of c2h6 would react so now we have to do this again for oxygen. So our second problem, we're starting with grams of O2, so we wanna get rid of grams of O2 and turn it into moles. For every one mole of O2, how many grams is that? What's the molar mass of O2? Well, that's just going to be two times the molar mass of oxygen, which we already looked at on the periodic table is 16. So two times 16.00 equals 32.00 grams. That is the molar mass of O2. So that goes on the bottom, 32.00 of our first conversion factor. And that successfully will get rid of grams of O2 now we're at moles of O2, so we want to turn moles of O2 into moles of H2O, just like we did up top. For the second conversion factor, you're going to use the coefficients in your balanced chemical equation again. So for O2, the coefficient is 7. Now at this point, the rest of our stoichiometry problem is exactly the same as the one above. So I'm just going to write in everything we did up top. So we're gonna have a six there for the coefficient of water. And then our entire third conversion factor will be just like above, 18.02 grams of H2O is one mole of H2O. So canceling our units, moles of O2 cancel, top and bottom, moles of H2O cancel, and then we're left with again grams of H2O. So let's plug this into our calculator. 250.0. We're going to skip times 1 and divide by 32.00 times 6 divided by 7 times 18.02 skip dividing by 1 equals and we get around 120.67 let's round that to 120.7 and again that is grams of H2O because we were calculating to the same product so now we compare those two values so we have 89.9 grams of H2O and 120.7 grams of H2O. Which of those is less? Well, that would be 89.9. So that means that all of our 50 grams of C2H6 will react. That makes C2H6 our limiting reactant. All that we have will react. Of our 250 grams of oxygen, not all of that is going to react. We're going to have some oxygen left over. So oxygen is our excess reactant. So final answer. If 50 grams of C2H6 combust with 250 grams of oxygen, we will get 89.9 .9 grams of H2O produced. All right, if you wanna see another example, click in the top right. Please like this video if it helped you in any way. Feel free to look in the doobly-doo below for additional help and resources. Please subscribe and ring the bell to get notified for new videos. And thank you, thank you so much for watching.